following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're having a look at the all-new E-Tech G2 150 horsepower outboard just introduced by Evanerd. This 1.9 liter engine is a two-stroke with three cylinders and direct in-cylinder fuel injection. This is the first 150 horsepower three-cylinder outboard ever built. It opens up all sorts of possibilities for owners of bass boats, aluminum multi-species boats, small dual consoles, center consoles, pontoon boats, tow sports boats, small bow riders, inflatables, and every level of boats of all kinds. This is a two-stroke outboard and it uses innovation and advanced technology to bring all the two-stroke benefits, such as power stroke for each cylinder on every turn of the crankshaft to produce strong torque throughout the entire RPM range while adding many driver-centric features and producing the lowest emissions of any outboard in class. It's got a CARB 3 star rating for ultra-low emissions and also approved for sale in the EU. At the heart of the new 150 is Evinrude's direct injection fuel system. It's unlike any other system in class for two reasons. First, the injector is actually in the cylinder head and not in the intake manifold like it is in four-stroke engines. Because of that position, the Evinrude employs a more robust injector that uses a magnet and coil to act on an electrical impulse sent by the EMM to deliver the correct amount of fuel at any given throttle setting. At low RPM, only a small amount of fuel, like champagne bubble small, according to Evinrude, is injected into the smaller top section of the cylinder. This is called stratified combustion, and it uses less fuel for more efficiency and cleaner operation. At high RPM, the engine switches to what's known as homogeneous combustion, and more fuel is injected to the whole cylinder using the full bore and stroke to produce excellent mid and high RPM range torque and power. We mentioned Evinrude's driver-centric approach, which means the designers have loaded this relatively small engine with features. For example, internal power steering. The power steering pump is integrated into the mounting bracket. This is a major advancement in outboard engine design and an industry first and makes installation and repower much easier and less costly. The outboard has a through tube tilt tube for use with anti-feedback cable steering. It can also be used with bolt-on external hydraulic steering. On the boats we tested, the system gave 100% feel for the boat and each turn of the wheel caused the boat to react immediately. Helical worm gears over worm gears make for integrated power steering that gives excellent response. Evernerd's dynamic steering lets the owner set the feel of the steering as the boat moves from low to high speed through the helm dash control or the icon touch display. This 150 holds true to the principles that made the larger E-Tech G2 engine so fuel efficient. A direct injection two-stroke engine with electronic control of injection and ignition coupled with a fly-by-wire throttle and shift. A dual access rigging tube is fixed to the mounting bracket so it stays put while allowing the engine to rotate independently, providing a cleaner transom and less wear on the components that do connect the engine to the boat. There are no primer bulbs or power steering hoses going through it, providing for a cleaner transom. This pin can be inserted to immobilize the steering to keep the outboard from flopping from one side to the other when raised or trailering. The new E-Tech G2 outboards tilt to get the entire lower unit completely out of the water, key for longevity in the marine environment. Evinrude included the iTrim automatic trim system in these outboards, helping the boat perform the way it should even with a novice at the wheel. There are other important features to the new Evinrude engine. One is onboard oil reservoir, which holds 1.9 gallons. Once the top cowling section is removed, the yellow oil fill cap is visible on top of the engine. Once the reservoir is filled, that oil supply will last for 50 to 60 hours of engine runtime, almost a whole season for most boaters, and usually it's even longer for low rev pontoon boats, which spend about 60% of their time under 1000 RPM. Oil is not mixed with the fuel, instead, lubrication is its own completely separate system, sending a carefully muted amount of oil through tubes to bathe the cylinder walls in clean oil as needed. Four-stroke engines must have their oil changed every 50 to 100 hours or every year. The Evernude engine never needs oil changes and its oil is always clean, reducing the chance for cylinder wear. Under the removable top cowling is the yellow oil fill cap. Also accessible are the poles to affix a jump starter and rigging connections for the fuel line and external oil tank, the forward freshwater flush line, the Evernude private network connection controlling the throttle and shift, and the NEMA 2000 connection to the boat systems to integrate with helm units, 
Yet another feature of the Evernude oiling system is automatic winterization. The Evernude can be ready for off-season storage with a tap of the Evernude iTouch display or the BRP eLink smartphone app while the engine is running, hooked up to fresh water or at the launch ramp in fresh water. This means that owners can winterize their own engines without the cost and hassle of taking the engine back to the dealer. On top of the engine under this black cover is a magneto which uses simple coils and magnets under the flywheel instead of an alternator. It has fewer parts and there are no pulleys, belts or brushes to wear out or break. The magneto produces 50 amps of electricity. Water in the lower unit gear case oil, shown draining here, is a major cause of engine failure. This happens for two reasons, either the oil level is low in the lower unit allowing condensation to contaminate the oil or a seal is compromised, sometimes due to a fishing line wrapped around the propeller which can also let water in when the oil gets hot and expands, pushing out the weakened seal. Evernerd has solved both of those issues with an expansion tank for gear oil, which means the gear case is always topped up with lube oil and when it heats up, the hot oil has a place to go instead of blowing out the seal. Evernerd uses an Ultra HPF gear fluid which can continue to lubricate even after it's contaminated by up to 25% of its volume with water. The outboard runs on 87 octane fuel and also has an internal fuel filter that functions as a fuel water separator. There's no need for an external fuel filter and the water detector notifies the owner if the fuel is contaminated. The lower unit has been redesigned with larger pickups moved lower and farther forward to allow the boat to run with the engine positioned higher, something shallow water anglers will like. The straight leading edge is designed to shed weeds. Anodes are placed prominently throughout and the anti-ventilation plate has been shortened and repositioned further aft to permit better water flow around the prop and still stop ventilation in rough conditions. Evernerd tells us that in normal conditions, this allows the boat to stay on plane at lower speeds. Now let's see what this new three-cylinder engine can do. We tested the E-Tech G2150 on a Sweetwater SW2286 SFL Tri-Tune with a length overall of 22 feet 10 inches and a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. Its three pontoons are 25 inches in diameter with an empty weight of 2,083 pounds, 31 gallons of fuel and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 2,689 pounds. With the 150 horsepower Evernerd E-Tech G2 outboard powering our test boat, we reached a top speed of 34.5 miles per hour at 52.50 RPM. Best economic cruise came in at 2,500 RPM and 11.8 miles per hour. It was at that speed that the 2.4 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 4.9 miles per gallon and a range of 199 statute miles. The key number to watch as we test more and more boats with this engine is the miles per gallon number. In this case, it was 4.9. Also, 60% of the engine runtime on a pontoon boat is spent below 1,000 RPM where she burns less than a half a gallon per hour. We recorded the engine noise level at that speed at just 67 decibels. That's quiet considering normal conversation is 65 decibels. Even at cruise, she makes 70 decibels of noise, while wide open throttle is just 84 decibels, and a fair amount of that is wind noise. The quiet operation is due to the way the exhaust is managed. An internal muffler box on the port side vents aft and quiets the engine at idle speeds. Above idle speed, the engine exhausts at the propeller hub. An exhaust is actually a key component of the 150 horsepower E-Tech G2 that stands apart because it uses a system called RAVE. That stands for Rotax Adjustable Valve Exhaust. Each cylinder has a gate valve that changes the exhaust flow to optimize performance. To quell vibration on this three-cylinder engine, Evernerd has designed what it calls a focused motor mount that isolates the power head from the mounting bracket to reduce the vibration transmitted to the boat. One other feature that's been added top to bottom in the E-Tech G2 line, the engines are now available with a white exoskeleton to color match more boats out there. We saw the white version of the E-Tech G2150 on our test of the Key West 203 DFS, a dual console boat with a length overall of 20 feet 3 inches and a beam of 8 feet. With an empty weight of 1,950 pounds, 50 gallons of fuel and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 3,067 pounds. With the 150 horsepower Evernerd E-Tech G2 outboard powering our test boat, we reached a top speed of 49.9 miles per hour at 5350 RPM. Best economic cruise came in at 3,500 RPM and 27.3 miles per hour. It was at that speed that the 5.5 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 0.5 miles per gallon in a range of 225 statute miles. The Key West also showed the outboard's excellent acceleration. 
We reached plane in 3.8 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds, and 30 miles per hour came and went in 8.3 seconds. All that quick acceleration and top end performance doesn't mean anything if the engine doesn't hold up to the marine environment. This all new engine is ready for both fresh and salt water. The blocks are cast from high grade aluminum alloy and only stainless steel fasteners are used throughout for added corrosion protection. Some of the largest anodes we've ever seen in class are installed on the lower unit for protection in marinas with stray current. Evernerd stands by the outboards with a five-year corrosion warranty that's at least a year longer and more inclusive than any other outboard warranty. And we've checked them all. Just take a look. So that's our inspection and review of the all-new Evernerd E-Tech G2150, one of the latest additions to this series of technologically advanced direct-injected two-stroke outboards. Keep an eye out for tests of boat's power with this engine and reviews of her three-cylinder stablemates. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.